I have a very bad computer and I want to show you how you can optimize your viewport so your computer doesn't crash. And to show you that I have a bad computer, I can right click down here and I can add system memory, video memory and scene statics. So down here you can see that I have 4 gigabytes of VRAM and I have 8 gigabytes of ROM. The first thing I want to show you is when you're creating a texture or shader so when we go down here don't press new press plus then new it's much faster and my pc won't crash because of it and i will show you what happens if i just press new you see the loading time is much longer and sometimes if i'm in a big scene this will crash my uh, blender if we go to render instead and we change to cycles. I also want to show something that is very good. So if we go to performance and scroll down, we see this viewport thing and this pixel size, we change to eight and I will just show this in eight because it's much easier to see. So we go to the shading viewport, we will see some pixels, but I will also add an HDRI so it's easier to see what's actually going on. So right now you see it's pixelated, so if you go back to this viewport pixel size here and change it to 2, we don't see much big of change, but if we change this to like 1, it's uh, very sharp. We can go to 2x, which is 50% resolution, and 4, which is 25% resolution. And changing to this can help uh, very, very much. Especially if you're in a large scene. Another thing I want to show you is this device because in the later versions of uh, Blender they have added GPU support so we can have this in our denoise. Uh, we see it here. We can also put it in the render so the denoiser uh, denoises faster. But you will see that I have it unselected in the viewport because. It just uh, makes it lag even more. We can also unselect the noise threshold. It will feel much smoother. We can also turn down this to like 100 or even 10, depending on what you're doing, and it will feel even smoother. One thing, if you want to have a denoiser on, you can change it to either optics or open image denoise, uh, but I don't have anything that supports this. So I will have automatic. If you're in the viewport like this and want to see the reflections of your object, what you can do is you can go to the render settings here and scroll down to film. And in here, we can hit transparent. And this will make it so the background is transparent. So when you render it like this, you have a, like a PNG image. Uh, but this will help your viewport feel much, much smoother. But if you want to see the background and also make it easier for your computer, you can unselect this. And then in the viewport, if you are in object mode, you can press Ctrl B, the same keys you bevel in edit mode. Then you can hold your left mouse click and drag it across the screen. And now it will only render this square. And this, you can also do it in the camera. So in the camera, you can do the same thing. You can press Ctrl B and do this. And the thing you have to think when you're doing this is if you press render and render image, it will only render this square. So when you want to render everything in the camera, you have to press Ctrl B and select the camera like this, and it will render everything in the camera only. The next thing I want to show you isn't really about making it faster, but if you have a small screen this will help you very much so for example in the shader viewport uh, it can be quite hard to see these numbers so you have to scroll in quite far to see uh, these numbers so what you can do you can press ctrl and spacebar to make the window much bigger and then just press ctrl b again to go back to viewport and this works with every window you see I can do it in every one 
and even in the viewport and this can help a little bit another thing that can help you is if you go to render and then go to simplify and select this we can change the max subdivisions in the scene you see i have it set to zero right now which means there is no subdivisions going on and this isn't really helpful if you're just in like have one object like this but let's say you're building a car or something else and you have accidentally hit like uh, two uh, subdivisions on your model and you will feel that your model lags your whole scene you can go to this simplify and change this to either one or zero and it will all obviously change how it looks in the viewport but as long as you have the high settings in the render it doesn't really matter you can also set the texture limit you see the uh, background is quite high resolution so if we change this to 128 it will load you see now the background is very very pixelated i can turn off this render region so right now it's very smooth in the viewport. We can also turn up to 512. It will be a little bit more laggy, but I think this is pretty, pretty okay to work with. So now we don't need to use Control B to look in through Windows. One other option you can have to make it easier in your viewport is obviously closing unnecessary tabs like YouTube. Discord, Spotify, etc.